Hey guys, it's Angela, and I am here to talk about Pretty Little Liars Season 6, Episode 12, Charlotte's Web. So I know I missed last week, and that was because I was super, super busy with work and had to be up really early, so I did not record. But from now on, you can expect my Pretty Little Liars videos, as long as the show doesn't take an even worse turn and just have me not wanting to watch anymore, period. But let's talk about this episode and a little about last week as well. So they're kind of incorporating a bit of the pilot into this new fresh half of the season and going into the seventh and final season. And that is that someone has been murdered. Murdered. Yeah. Little delayed air quotes there. Um, even though obviously Charlotte has been killed, but then the girls are told to stick around. So kind of mirroring the second, the first season, the first episode, and especially tonight with Arya going missing and Spencer going missing, it really is starting to parallel. I'm just wondering if there's going to be an A back in the picture. Um, I think Marlene said that was like a big bad and if they're going down that road, is it going to be similar to an A thing? Because how long can the cops keep the girls in Rosewood? So that's the only way that I can really think that they would be around in Rosewood to solve this mystery, I guess, is kind of a new A situation where they start, you know, not necessarily getting texts, but something very similar. What do you guys think? Let me know down below what you think will happen with that and why they'll stick around in Rosewood, what's going to keep them there. But anyway, I want to talk about this episode a bit and how Arya is just really sketching me out. But on the plus side, she does have a new boyfriend, which made me really freaking happy because I hate Ezra. You guys know that I hate Arya and Ezra together. I don't mind Ezra by himself doing his own thing, pining after Nicole, whatever. I just want Arya and Ezra to stay super far apart, and hey, Liam is all there, and I'm like, yes, you need a cute little geeky man by your side, but she's wanting to go back to work even though the cops told her to stay, and obviously she has a reason for this because she was missing from the hotel. She left about like 3 or so and didn't get back until 4.30, which was well after the time that Charlotte was murdered. It was revealed that she was murdered around 4.00. <clears throat> and during this time, Ezra and Arya were talking and just shooting the crap. She was gone for like an hour and a half, you guys, and it's like Arya flashes back to what happened, and they have like a two-minute conversation, and then they see Charlotte get out of the car at the church. Really? So obviously something more happened during that time, unless they were, were just really playing catch-up, but I don't believe that for a second. Um, and then Spencer wrote this paper in Criminology, I believe was the class, where she's talking about this real-life murder and what happened, and she thinks that maybe Ezra got the idea to kill Charlotte from this paper because they were talking about this paper when he came to, when they were out at lunch one time, I think, um, while he was on his book tour. So... <coughs> I have a question, excuse me. What the hell is going on with Caleb and Spencer, you guys? Like seriously, seriously, Marlene is just taking all the couples and just shook them up really good and Caleb is no longer together, um, Spoby's no longer together, Ezra is no longer together, thank the sweet baby Jesus. But really, you're gonna try and like kind of make this work between Caleb and Spencer? Okay, Hannah can be happy with the new man. Yes, he's super hot and he does have an accent, but I don't want Spencer and Caleb to be together. I just think that is just the ultimate bitch slap. And that doesn't work for me, even though there are like strong clues toward it and they're kind of pointing them in that direction. I still think by the, there, the very, very end of the show that Caleb will be back together for sure. I hope. Yeah. I, I'm more ho hoping that it'll be Spencer and Toby, but... We'll have to see where the cards fall. 
apparently Sarah Harvey is going to be a major player in this season. She's always lurking around the corner, and it's pissing me off because I don't like Sarah Harvey. But somehow she's burnt her hands. It, isn't that what they said, that she's burnt her hands so she can't use them? And the police rule her off, murdering Charlotte. Okay. But Allison is starting to suspect her friend. She originally told Lorenzo, no, they didn't have anything to do with this. And then she decides she wants to change her mind after the dinner from hell where Caleb is there with Spencer and um, Jordan and Hannah are together. And then Emily just kind of shows up by herself. No Toby. Arya's back in New York. And it's just really awkward. And then Allison wants to say grace. And she's like, yes. And let help. Um, I hope you help bring Charlotte's murderer to justice and whoever is helping him or her. So I'm thinking that she either believes that it is Arya and has just this inkling that she saw Charlotte that night and kind of followed her and saw Arya out and about, or that she's kind of leaning toward Hannah. I'm not really sure because I don't have anything to back that up, but there you go. Um, and then I want to know what Emily's getting treatments for. She said she needed this to work when she was at the Hollis Medical Center, but what does she need to work? I have no idea what it could be. They're talking about how she lives in California and coming commuting for treatments will be very, very tricky for her. And I can't think of what she could be getting treated for. My mind originally went to cancer, but then the girl that helped pay her parking ticket just got over cancer or a few years ago. And so I don't know if they would really go back down that road, even though we didn't see her struggle with cancer. Like maybe that was a clue or something that Emily is dealing with cancer. I really, really think after this episode, they are making Ezra way too freaking shady to be C uh, CC slash Charlotte's killer. I just, I can't see it. It's just really sketchy. Even though Arya did say that he lied to her because he wouldn't look her in the face. But I just think that it's too convenient and it just doesn't work for me. I'm not buying it. Even though there would be nothing that would make me happier than if Ezra was really a bad guy down beneath the surface, I just, I can't see it happening. Maybe Allie, like, followed Cece that night. Um, I actually heard a really good theory today that it's almost seeming like the night that Allie disappeared, where we're going to find out later down the road that Charlotte talked to several different people before she actually died. So we have like a plethora of suspects to choose from, which I would not be objected to, even though they're going down the same road that they have been on. And the storyline is just starting to drag a bit for me. I'm just like, get to something good. I don't care about couples, even though everyone is broken up. It's just, I want the story to continue to progress. And right now I'm feeling like we're not getting enough progression, which I'm willing to stick it out until about the fourth or the fifth episode because I understand that they did go through this major time jump and they're trying to play catch up and show us, you know, the girls' lives and what they've been doing. Okay, I am I get that you're trying to build a story there, so I'm not going to knock it yet, but seriously, around the fourth or the fifth episode, they need to get a move on and we need more plot-driven show rather than couple based show if that makes any sense I think that's all I want to talk about for this episode actually um, I didn't really take that great of notes because frankly guys the episode in my opinion was not that fantastic I do like that it is now five years in the future and the new looks that the girls have I really appreciate that um, I think they did a great job from going from them in high school to now, you know, after they've graduated college and just allowing them to actually look their actual age for once, that's that's a really nice, refreshing change. What else did I want to say about tonight's episode? I don't know. 
It makes me really sad that Emily's dad died, though. Like, out of all the parents on the show, it has to be Emily's dad, the undoubtedly coolest parent ever in Rosewood. Really, I mean, that was just crazy. Also, really quickly before I go, I want to talk about Sarah Harvey and how at the end of the episode, she is visiting someone's grave where I'm assuming it's going to be Charlotte's grave. And it shows Emily visiting her father for the first time. And then at the very end, someone comes and places flowers on a freshly dug grave, which once again, I'm assuming that to be Charlotte. What do you guys think? Do you think that the person placing flowers would be the killer? Or do you think it's just someone else with close ties to Charlotte? Because if it was Sarah Harvey, I think that they might show a bit more. But I really don't think it's Sarah Harvey, and I don't think it's Ezra. I'm sorry. I just, I want it to be, but I don't think it's Ezra. <sighs> sorry, guys. It's, like, super late. I'm getting super late. So I think that is all for me for this review of Pretty Little Liars Season 6, Episode 12, Charlotte's Web. I am really anxious to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Do we like the couple building slash where they've been storyline going on? Or do you guys need more of a plot driven show and to find out what happens next? Next week I will be back with my five minute recaps. Hopefully if enough things happen in this show and they don't focus on couples as much. But Melissa will be back, and I really cannot wait for that. And she is going to confront Spencer about Caleb. So that is something that I am looking forward to on the couple front, just to find out what exactly has happened between them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I missed last week. Um, and let me know your thoughts about this episode down in the comments below. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get really detailed into theories quite yet, just because there's not really a lot to theorize about except, you know, who killed Charlotte, which is the obvious one, and I was kind of bitter after the end of 6A, thinking that I'm not really going to go into that much detail with my theories anymore because it was a massive waste of time, but we'll see how the show plays out, and hopefully I can provide some more detailed theories for you guys if it goes in the right direction. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.